when we decided that we wanted to live in Galveston full time, we decided to try to find our forever home down here. We had had homes before that we did charming things to, but we'd never had a home that had such intrinsic charm as this one has. It has this amazing encaustic tile in the entryway. It has three wonderful slate fireplaces, these soaring ceilings and the beautiful crown molding in the floors and just had so much potential when we bought it. It had been so many different people's wonderful versions of their own Victorian home and the, this is our version of what we wanted our forever dreamy historic Victorian home to look like. The Galveston Real Estate and Loan Company bought a piece of property on Avenue L between 24th and 25th Street in 1882 and they built three speculative homes so this was one of the homes they built it was a triplet and so in 1884 Adolf Frankel purchased this home it's the westernmost home and he immediately um, started to remodel it uh, and we believe at the same time that um, Adolf purchased the house and began to remodel it he added the wonderful tile in the entryway and probably added the slate on the three fireplaces. His first wife had passed away and when he moved into the house he moved in with his five children four sons and a daughter and shortly thereafter um, he met his second wife, Regina Frankel. She moved into the house with him. She did not have any children of her own, but I know that she loved the, the children that they had between them. Um, he passed away in 1921, and Regina went on to live in, in the home until her death in 1935. Regina, as we, we actually call the house Regina, she was uh, the muse of this home. She was quite an amazing woman for the time period that she lived. The family was very active in the Jewish community here in Galveston. Regina uh, worked for the, um, the Red Cross during World War I, and she was also the president for many, many years, decades, of the uh, Lasker Home for Homeless Children. We think she's a wonderful person, and we have her picture in our, in our foyer, and we, we think about her and we talk to her in the house every day. These old houses are wonderful and aesthetically beautiful, and we come in and we note their beauty. Galveston goes a step beyond that and actually connects these homes with the bright, brilliant lives of the people who, who made these homes happen. So it's just this amazing process where GHF hands you this depth of experience on these homes that you had no idea existed. It's just an amazing thing to know about Adolf and to know about Regina and their lives in this home and what they did. Um, and for that, we'll be forever grateful to GHF for actually giving us the, that knowledge about these beautiful homes.